Today I'm going to show you how to set the date and time on the line isolation monitor, the Schneider Electric IG6. To do so, press the folder button until the number one values is flashing. Using the down arrows, we're going to select number four, settings, and press the folder button. Now we're ready to enter the password 807. Using the down arrow, select the first digit, number eight, and press the folder button. This moves us to the next digit. We're going to keep that, so let's press it again. Now select the down arrow until we get to the number seven and press the folder button. Now we're ready to move through the next part of the menu. Using the down arrow, we're going to go through the menu until we get to number seven. That's our clock setting and that's where we can enter our date and time. Press the folder button to go into the menu. Time is flashing, so let's press it again to move to the hour. Using the up arrow, we're going to press it until we get to the number eight. Press the folder button. This moves us to the minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and use the up arrow until we get to number 45. Press the folder button. And time's flashing again. Let's use the down arrow to move to the next. The next thing is going to be our date. Press the folder button. This moves us to the month. Using the up arrow, let's select five and press the folder button. Now we're going to enter our date. We're going to enter 27 using the up arrow. Press the folder button. And now we're ready to move to the year. Use the down arrow and that moves us to 2016. We're going to keep that. So let's go ahead and push the down arrow and move through the menu. Let's push it again until we can exit. Go ahead and hit the folder button. This brings us back to the clock. Hit the escape and hit the escape again.